previously on the on season. Okay. Um, do you want to uh, do you want to go ahead and get down? What happened last night? Because I, I didn't mean I was all I was doing was trying to look at the schedule and I saw what happened. And you saw the, so. Okay. All right. All right, it's episode six. <laughs> That's a what do you want? What, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> I think you know what I want to talk. I want to go. I want to go straight to the smokestack <laughs> right now, Lenny Cuit. <laughs> Come on! All I was trying to do was look at my schedule, <laughs> and and you saw I'd, it. Yeah, I was on stable golf. I don't know why I was on stable golfers, but I I pulled. Oh, it you up. mean like was, when you pulled up your app, it was already on. It was already golfers. there, and I was like, oh. "What? What are those numbers? Wait, wait, no." Go ahead. All right, let me walk, go ahead. Just let me just, just walk, tell me what happened. Let me walk you through it. So first off, <laughs> first off, I'd like to give a kudos, obviously to Craigers, um, but I'd like to give a kudos to Doctor. That's right, to Doctor Tim Barnett. Um, He's Timmy doctor, B, but I'm going to call him doctor. Um, I've been a couple days on the exercises now, so that's that's help. That's just help with some of the some of the tightness I was dealing with. But I went outside yesterday, which I do think helped. Uh, the weather. Oh, you were weather, outside. Weather was we had a freakishly warm day, so I went outside into the backyard, put the put the put the radar down on the basketball court, and. So these were different conditions. So who knows? Who knows what they <laughs> really? I was were. downwind. I mean, that could have been wind aided. Um, <laughs> it's like a, it's like an Olympian. We're gonna call Carl Lewis on right now. <laughs> he knows everything about wind aided. The conditions were too pristine for this score Get to probably count. Mike Powell. Yes. I want Mike Powell on here. Yeah, it was a Michael Johnson kind of <sighs> round. Um, Dang on it. But anyway, here here's what's important. Up to this point, one twelve had been my peak swing. Yep. At, at one uh, at one ninety five, so I came out of the gate. Actually, let me. I don't want to butcher this. I saw it. I I've, I think I've memorized it because I went back in. Okay. three or four times. Well, I, I know like, one num- one number. I, I like, know. Wait. What what yeah, else? I, I think I came out of the gate at one ten, and then I think I hit one twelve one twelve if I'm remembering correctly. And then one fourteen. And then I hit one fourteen in the end, and I was ready to. I was ready to like. <laughs> launch the club like a javelin i was so freaking pumped up i'm not gonna lie my feelings were hurt my feelings were hurt more yes. than i want to admit that they were hurt but they were <laughs> but it i had to i had to just have some moments in the car to myself yeah i thought about vigo i thought about that painting <laughs> and i mean it, vigo. there's, there's vigo. a there's a spot look at this. I've, I've got a spot on the wall like it's it's going there so I'm going to figure it out. I'm going, whatever, whatever I, I have to inject, whatever. <laughs> you I, called up Coach Kilmer. I've called Frank Thomas. Uh, you put that needle in his stacked <laughs> arms. I'm never going to play for we you. We ain't again. never going to play for you. Um, <laughs> we're doing something. Lance Armstrong. Yep. Um, I mean, listen, I, I didn't know that you were going to get an entourage of, uh, you know, put, put a whole medical team together. Actually, let me to, go ahead. In order to let beat me, me but. Lenny, cue something. Cue some grateful music. Just some thankful music. I'd like to thank my team, uh, <laughs> Sasha, for the Sasha for the pause tip, the better extension um, for the stack. I'd like to thank JJ, uh, my best friend, uh, for uh, giving me the tip to let it go. Team Gills. Team Gills, um, Team Shark. He's, he, we were bumping fins. Just high five. It's a new. Can't high five. even breathe. Yeah. Um, bumping fins this is a family show. That, that's it. <laughs> we were bumping fins on the low stage. Um, <laughs> Lenny, low stage music. <laughs> Do we have we're, low stage music? Yeah, we will now. Okay. I don't know. Cue it, Lenny. Adam. Um, <laughs> Adam. Cue the, it's, it's Adam. Adam music works. So anyway, thank you, team. I appreciate it. All right. Well, we'll we'll be back. We'll be back. I, I'm. I, I haven't been. I haven't been behind. This is a new feeling for me. I haven't been behind in the stack session. But we've got five. 
There's five left. There's five left. One live. There's only there's only four. There's only four apart from each other, and then yeah, it's go time. So that was the plan. The stack competition was supposed to end on March second, but then Eli disappeared. I didn't hear from him for two days. This is what our text thread looked like. It turned out Eli had COVID and our stack competition was now looking like this. Our schedule was no longer going to work. When Eli was beginning to recover, we got back on the mics. He's alive. <laughs> we better get this done before I take my four hour nap. <laughs> because that's about what I feel like right now. <clears throat> he's on, he's, he has COVID, he's, he's still on. He's, he's, he still came on. This is what dedication looks like, everybody. I love you. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I haven't talked to you in uh, five days. I know. It's been, a, it's been a fun couple days. I think I've sent you, up until last night, I think I'd sent you like four sentences on a text thread. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had, I mean, like people were saying, people were saying, is Eli okay? And I was like, I, I don't know. I think so. I don't, <laughs> I, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he does get, I mean, let's, let's be honest though. <laughs> you are a fairly useless sick person. Not good. Uh, it's not like, yeah. Like normal people still can function like text message wise. Nope. Um, I'm done. We don't, we, we don't hear from you. You're, you're off. You go off the grid. Well, you, I, I woke up Monday to record Tuesday has no feel. And yeah. I went to bed. I think I texted you. I was like, I can't do it. And I proceeded to basically, I basically slept the rest of the day and into the next morning. COVID, man. COVID, that's, baby. That's what happened when I had it. Yep. It's just the, the tiredness. Yep. Okay. But, but, I'm you're, back. but you're, you're fighting back. I'm fight. I'm okay. fighting back. And I'll say fighting because I, obviously I couldn't, I had no energy the last several days to do anything. And I'm, I'm getting caught up on text messages. I know you and Sasha had messaged. You told him I had COVID and Sasha suggested, which I didn't even know was a function the uh, return to form function for the competition. I was really worried. Like I knew whatever my next swings were maybe for a session or two would not be good. And I thought, man, right. that's really going to jade, you know, the results. So it's like stack has life proofed the freaking application. You know, it's like, Hey, when stuff happens, it doesn't derail your entire progress. We've got a way to keep, you know, to get you back on track and then pick up where you left off, which is awesome. Yeah, because I was I was worried. I was like, man, what are we gonna do? Because yeah. I'm I'm still on the foundation program. Right. The other, the other thing. So the thing that I'll do for our purposes, so we still end at the same time. I will also take a break, but I'm doing special speed priming sessions. Right. So I don't lose form, but I stay. We stay on track, and then we can still finish at the same time. So that'll actually it'll actually move our schedule back a little bit. We'll take our stacks with us to California and to Bandon and we will have some in-person uh stack challenges. So All right, well you saw the Reverend last week. I did. You said you said we've got a film session. Do we have a, do, we, do we have a film session to go to? We do. So nice little Sam Sneed little squat there little and it's really not a squat as much as, yeah, the pelvis moves down, the knees widen. That's just all kind of actually what we're seeing in the camera. But that's beautiful there. And you kind of push off, pelvis rises, left shoulder rises. Nice shaft lean. And that's majorly compressed. Ball flew 170 yards at only 80 miles an hour. That is very crispy. Wow. Look at that. So we worked on a move that was kind of similar to what Sasha was talking about down in at the PGA show. Remember when he was like, remember he was holding the club and he was like, pull the club up. Yeah, pull yeah, the yeah, club yeah. Up. yeah. Pull the club up. Pull, pull me up. Pull the shark in the pool. <laughs> Right, you can see how there's a disconnect? Yeah. You can straighten, if you straighten that, straighten that leg now, then it can do a good deal to the golf ball. Yeah. 
So you, you have to be thinking, I'm straight in that knee. If that doesn't make it to the shoulder up to the club, then there's no point in going down. Right. Right? So do even bit exaggerate more, bend the knee like almost to like a semi-squat. Now pull me up as quite straight. There. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay. The goal has to be I'm getting down so that I can pull get that out yeah. to the club. Yeah. Okay. Right. That makes sense. It was awesome. So I've never had a swing. I've never had a swing look like what you just saw. No. There's so many things in that swing. I've never had shaft lean like that. Yeah. I've never had a finishing position like that. And so I was I was super happy. From there, Eli went into some more detail about what him and Reverend Ward worked on, which we put in this week's podcast. And then I told him about the forward tee challenge attempt number two, where I came to the last hole at one over, needing a miracle chip in to shoot even. So it's lilting in the air. It then hits the exact landing spot Ooh, that okay. I was trying for. It does a mini check and starts rolling <laughs> towards the hole. Mini check. Nance okay. Nance comes in with a classic line. Says it, Nance it, comes in with a face <laughs> melter. <laughs> Nance says, is it his time? But no, it isn't. It stops turning and runs eight, <laughs> eight feet down the hill, and I took the bus home. I missed the putt. <laughs> I really thought, as soon as that thing landed, though, I thought it was going in. Yeah. And then it just... So I shot 73, so I will have to do it again. Gosh. All right, so our next on-season video, Eli, will be after we return from California and Bandon. Um, Let's go. <laughs> yeah. So, until then, fight harder. Let's everybody. go, let's go. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my wife. My wife came out and basically hung out with me while I was going, while I was swinging the club. Uh, it felt like Adrian in the gym in Rocky Three, just <laughs> watching him learn how to hit a punching bag again and jump rope. It was fantastic, so... Did she again, say? I, did did she fall into a coma and then say, "There's one she thing rolled, that you can do"? She rolled me. over and she rolled over and said, "Win, win, win!" And then and my then. oldest son walked around the corner and went, "What are we waiting <laughs> for?" <laughs> I've now I'm ahead, but I've got the fastest max speed. Do you? I mean, do you feel like you feel like you can catch me or what? Um. Doubt. Yes, I, oh, there was I doubt do. Doubt there. <laughs> He's got some doubt. Oh my, Lenny, cue the doubt music. It's it's no secret. You were the favorite coming in. You've always been faster than me. It was like it was a wild ride. Like, but but I was ahead for so long. I was like, you know what? I'm just I'm just faster than him now. That's how it is. And then when you jump me, um, it hurt my feelings. But I am over it, and I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you and I'm going to pass you. There's one thing, uh, there's one thing I haven't done. Steroids? That... <laughs> <laughs> the cream and the clear? What is it? <laughs> That's that caffeine pill we heard about. Um, Mountain Dew Code Red? What do you mean there's I think one the thing you is, haven't done? Is, what, what is that? Is how, how fast, how far past it can I go? Is the, is the question. What, what do you mean there's one thing you haven't done yet? There's one thing I haven't done. What? Yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna reveal that. We're in a competition. Alright. I got no idea what you're talking about, but I'm glad. I want you to think about that. I want you to think about that I've got some secret move. Like the secret chord that David played. <laughs> Please the Lord. <clears throat> Alright. Um